everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be my 2022 desk tour i spent a lot of time on this desk i do a lot of gaming and journaling on here and i have a pretty good setup going on i i think at least i really enjoy this space and how everything works and is organized so i'm just going to give you a quick little overview of my desk so at the top of my desk i have this shelf just full of little knickknacks like candles and plushies and just random cute little miscellaneous items and then under that i have some wall art so i have a minecraft pickaxe and then i just have a bunch of little random art prints and my plant that just like loops around my entire room so i have also have this cute little frog wearing a little witch hat that i got from target and then a cute little hello kitty cuff and then these are my art prints so i have a cute little bunny a keith herring one a couple little frogs and just some cute little art prints and i love how they look i love how all the colors coordinate and it's just a lot of pinks and greens it's just really pleasing to look at and then i have this favorite this is my favorite print this is from avatar the last airbender i will link the artist down below and then i just have some more random art prints over here I have a Percy and Annabeth art print, but they are like dressed as MJ and Peter from Spider-Man and then just some more random cute little art prints and I just love how this entire space looks. It's just so pleasing for me to look at. And then over here I just have like my gaming and some books. So the board that the books are sitting on is actually an IKEA cutting board that I flipped upside down. I got the idea from Chloe Bunny and I use it for either books I'm currently reading, books I want to read, or just random books that I thought would look nice on here. And then I have my Kindle. This is the Kindle Paperwhite 2019 edition, I believe. And I just have some stickers on it from Redbubble. I have a Heartstopper sticker, some cute little bunnies, a quote from Radio Silence, and then a sticker of Zendaya and Tom Holland as Peter and MJ from Spider-Man. I just love that picture so much and I love my Kindle. I actually get a lot of use out of it whenever I don't feel like holding physical books. And then this is my main setup. So this is a HP monitor. I'll link the exact one down below. And I just have some more cute little Hello Kitty knickknacks and then an Among Us plushie. And then this is my really colorful keyboard and I love this keyboard. I love how loud and obnoxious the keys are it's just so fun i love using this keyboard and then i have this little mouse which changes colors actually and i really like this mouse i don't like how it's corded which is a little bit annoying i don't like how it looks but it's a really good mouse and i got those two things from amazon and then over here i have my nintendo switch so here i'm gonna turn on my switch and then show you my monitor and gaming setup so i just turn on my switch put it into the dock and then in the back i have like a whole cable set up with a splitter that switches between my nintendo switch and my laptop so when i click on the button on the splitter it shows my nintendo switch on the screen and then when i click on it again it switches back to showing my laptop which is honestly so helpful and just so convenient for whenever I feel like randomly gaming and I just click the button and then it switches to my Nintendo Switch on the screen which is honestly so amazing and then over here these are just some of the games that I have on my Switch really haven't played much of any of these I finished unpacking recently I love that game so much it's so fun and Coffee Talk is also another really good game that I've been playing but my recent addiction has been Lemon Cake this is the cutest little bakery sim and you grow your own ingredients and fruits and you just run your own little bakery and it is just so cute and cozy i love the art style and it is just the cutest game ever i am so happy that i finally came out on switch because i've just been dying to play it this is my desk chair and it is actually a gaming chair from autoful and it has cute little bunny ears on it and i just love the pink color i just feel like it ties my space together so nicely and the armrest things are actually adjustable which i find really helpful whenever i am trying to cross my legs when i'm sitting down 
And then in this corner, I have a shelf and cart, which are both from Ikea. And on this shelf, I just have a bunch of random things that I use a lot when I am journaling. So at the top, I just have my printer, which is an HP NV Inspire 7200, I believe. It's a pretty good printer, especially for the price. It's been good to me so far. I don't really have any complaints. And then under that, I have my second shelf, which just holds a random box that I got with my order from Voight by Valentina. And then in the front, I just have a cute little bunny statue, which is from Target, I believe. And then next to that, I have this crate from Five Below, which holds all of my art supplies. I just have my sketchbook, some watercolor paints, a little palette, and just random paint and paintbrushes. And then this file holder is from Ikea, which I painted with the cow print spots. And I just hold all of my cardstock and construction paper for easy access whenever I'm journaling. And then on the bottom, I just have more random things. I have this box which came with my order from Void by Valentina. This is my most recent addition to my collection and it is just the nicest box ever. Like it has so many cute details on it from the inside of the lid to the outside and the bottom. Like it's just so nice. So I just have it on display. And then I have my Polaroid album, which is from Amazon, and it just holds all of my Polaroid pictures. And then next to that, I just have a bunch of canvases for if I feel like painting, and I'm about to knock everything over. There we go. <laughs> but this is my concert scrapbook, which I have not kept up with at all. I think the last time I updated it was in like 2019 so i really need to update that but yeah that is my concert scrapbook and then i have this binder which just has like random paper items like paper that i use for journaling but that i can still reuse for other spreads and then this last binder i just have all of my concert tickets not concert tickets i have my movie tickets theme park tickets and just like random little memories like that and then in the back i just have a planter with a bunch of markers that my sister gave me because she does not use them and then on the side over here on the floor i have all of my vinyl records i don't have a record player that actually works i still need to get a brand new needle for mine and i don't really have any space to put the record player for now so i just keep my records here on the floor which honestly pains me but I literally don't have anywhere else to put them sadly until I have like my own space but yeah they just sit on the floor for now. And then I have my stationery cart which I love so so much. It is the most convenient thing to have when I'm journaling because I can just roll it over to my desk and then I have just easy access to all of my supplies. So hanging off of the cart, I have these two cups from Ikea, which just hold my Uni Posca pens, Tombow pens, highlighters, markers, random pens, pencils, and just things I use a lot when I'm journaling. And then I have all of my stickers in this little bin from Five Below. I have a lot of stickers. I don't know if this isn't the most convenient way to store them, but honestly, it works for me. If I need them, I just pull out the bin and just grab the ones that I need. And in the back, I have these little notebooks, which I just use to rip out the pages to put into my journal. And then I have two, I actually have three of those that I just ripped the pages out of. And then in the back, I have my reading journal from two years ago. Have not kept up with it, did not keep up with it. I think I stopped in like August of 2020. And then over here, I have this little glossier bag with just random things that I want to include in future journal spreads, like retags and receipts and stickers and just random things that I want to use in future spreads. And then I just have my stamps. These are letter stamps. There's capital, li capital letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. I use these a lot in my journal 
whenever I don't feel like writing and I just want to use some stamps. And then I have this old copy of Pride and Prejudice, which I use to rip out pages to include in my journal, which is blasphemous, but honestly, I wasn't going to read that edition anyway, and I like how the pages are like vintage looking, so yeah. And then here I have my Instax mini printer, which is honestly my most favorite purchase. I use it a lot to print out Polaroids to put in my journal. And then here I just have some film for said Instax. It just uses the same film as the actual Fujifilm camera and then I have this little little bin thing with random scraps and random pictures that didn't make it the cup when I was doing the spreads and just random little pieces of paper and then over here I have some memo pads from Durunaru on Etsy these are like film and like movie ones and then I have this Instagram one kind of looks like an Instagram post I use this one a lot because I think it's super cute I just put like a big picture on there and it just looks really nice And then I have another little container full of my stamps. All of these stamps and the container are from Michaels. And I just love these little stamps. They're just so cute. I use the flower one a lot. And then I have my 2022 life journal. It is massive, as you can see. Like, it is honestly really heavy. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen apart yet. But yeah, this is just what my journal looks like. I'm gonna make a journal flip through eventually once i do finish this journal but yeah these are just a few of my favorite spreads oh this spread came out so good <laughs> this spread for the secret history this one for spy family i did recently and i really love how it turned out and then i have this one for yona the dawn which i also love how it turned out and then i love making these waterfall cards they are so fun i will link the tutorial that i use for them down below but yeah, that is my life journal, quick little like overview of it, and the stickers on the cover are from Redbubble. In the shelf under that I have all of my washi tapes so in the back I have all my washi tapes in a nail polish holder those are the washi tapes that I use the most frequently and then the ones in these bins I don't use as much so I just put them in the bin because I don't really need to be grabbing them that often because I don't use them that much and then I have this little heart shape little container thing also from Michaels which holds some extra hooks for my cart and just binder clips that I use when I'm journaling to hold the pages closed. And then behind that I have this Hello Kitty washi tape dispenser that I got from Epcot. And it just has super cute little Hello Kitty washi tapes in it. I don't like using them because I don't want to run out of them. but. They are so cute and I just love collecting washi tape. This little mushroom thing is honestly falling apart. I don't want to talk about it, but this is actually a mini vacuum. So when you turn on the little button, it actually works as like a vacuum. So I use this a lot for cleaning up eraser shavings when I'm journaling or just random little crumbs and stuff on my desk and it is honestly so useful and then this little mushroom mug is from Five Below and in it I just hold my like spare glue stick, some pencil lead, and an eraser and then on this tray I just have the things that I use the most frequently when I'm journaling like my tape runner which is empty right now but i also have a glue stick and some whiteout and then on the last shelf i have this little pencil pouch which holds all of my annotating supplies for whenever i'm reading i just have my sticky notes post-it tabs and my mild liners and just other random highlighters and then this is also for annotating these are all of my tabs for when i'm annotating my books and then this bin from Michaels holds all of my paper scraps that I use when I am journaling so I can 
reuse them and get the most use out of them. This little basket is from Amazon and it just holds like little tags that I use when I'm journaling as well as some mini envelopes. I have two different kinds of envelopes. And then behind that, I just have more envelopes that I've gotten from orders that I've made and that I want to eventually use whenever I need it for a journal spread. I just have this little pencil holder thing that just holds some uh, yarn for whenever I need it for the little tags that I put into my journal sometimes. And then this little bin just holds random hardware and stuff for my shelf in case I ever need it. And then I just have a ream of copy paper as well as some stickers. These are some letter stickers from Michaels. And then I have this Hello Kitty sticker book, which I got like years ago, I think in elementary school. And it just has the cutest little Hello Kitty stickers. And then I have this bed table tray thing from Amazon, which I use whenever I am either annotating books in bed to make it easier or if I want to put my laptop on it and watch a show and just be more comfortable instead of having it on my lap, then I will use this. So that is my 2022 desk tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing how I use this space to do all of my hobbies and be creative with my journaling and gaming and reading. And if you want to know where anything is from, just let me know in the comments below and I will try to find it. But I will link everything that I can in the description box down below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!